it's time for a low impact cardio and strength workout. I'm your certified health and fitness coach, Caroline Jordan, and this video routine combines heart pumping cardio intervals with strength exercises to enable you to boost your metabolism through building lean muscle mass and improve your performance in sports and in life. I'm so grateful that you decided to press play on this exercise video today. To do this routine, you will need dumbbells. If you don't have any weights at home, I've left a link in the description box below for where you can get some. Or you can complete the video without any weights until you're ready to invest in a set. Second thing is if you haven't become a Patreon already, what are you waiting for? I can't continue to make these videos without your support. Patreon links are included below in the description box, so please join our community and stand by my side in sharing my message of movement as medicine with the planet. You'll also get exclusive Patreon perks like my monthly workout calendar program and private Facebook group for accountability, support, and encouragement in your fitness journey. So please check out those Patreon links below and join us. And last but not least, if you can't do all the moves in this routine, do not sweat it. The more you practice this video, the more you'll progress and see strength benefits. So keep coming back to practice because practice makes progress and you will get stronger with consistency and I cannot wait to hear all about your results. So if you've already checked out the Patreon link below and you've hit like on this video, grab your set of dumbbells and your positive attitude and meet me on your mat for this cardio and strength workout. Are you ready? Let's go. Meet me in a march. We'll begin with some cardio intervals before we pick up those weights, get the blood flowing, the heart pumping, and get you ready for all of the good things to come. I'm so proud of you for pressing play and showing up for yourself today. Self-care is the best way to live a happy and healthy life. So good job making the time for you, your body, and your health. Roll those shoulders down and back, stand up nice and tall, and take the march at whatever speed feels perfect for you. Remember, as we move, you can always go slower or faster depending on what your body needs. This is a cardio and strength workout, so best thing for your buck type of routine. Ready? Low impact jumping jacks. Take one leg out and reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Use your breath and see if you can pick up the pace to challenge your heart. The heart is one of your most important muscles, so we're keeping it strong today. Oh, I already feel better. Movement really is medicine. Good, keep that jumping jack going. It's all low impact today, so easy on the joints, but majorly impactful with your results. Keep breathing, you're doing it. Nice, and relax. Side body reach and stretch. We're going to bend the legs, stretch the arms. This routine is one similar that I do with my virtual coaching clients, Margaret and Michael. And they asked for me to film some of the exercises that we do in our virtual coaching sessions together. So you can thank Margaret and Michael for this video if you like it too. Good, keep breathing. Reach fingers up towards the ceiling. Woo, this feels good, I like it. All right, stay with it my friend. Nice job, heart rate should be coming up and relax. Let's pull the knee, use your core, stretch your shoulders, and squeeze your butt as you bring your knee in towards your heart. Stand up really tall. You're doing great. So happy we're here together today. Isn't it a gift to be healthy and moving? I mean, even if you're moving slow, you're moving. You woke up today. Let's make it happen. Good, keep pulling that knee into center. You're doing awesome. Yes, whew. Stay with me now. You, you got it. Bring that knee in. Yes, and relax. Next, we cross body punch. 
and I want you to give me a strong punch, getting positive punches across the chest. Good, squeeze your abs in nice and tight. You've got this. Never forget, you are stronger than you think, and you can do hard things. Yeah, all right, make sure you smile because, you know, it helps with everything. Hang in there, strong punch side to side. Whew. And butt kicks, we go. Squeeze the heel towards the butt as we reach and pull the arms. It's like an old school 80s aerobics move. I love it. It always feels great to stretch the front of my thighs, engage the backs of my legs, work my upper body posture muscles, and get out any kinks that might have come from the nasty computer. Oh man, good job. Keep that pull, heart is lifted, and relax. We're going to lateral lunge, center, lateral lunge, center. I want you to put your hands on your thighs and send your butt back towards the wall behind you, or the couch, or the dog, whatever's behind you. Show them that strong butt muscle you got. Now, if you're new to my workouts, I want you to remember to pace yourself. It's okay to go slow, as long as you don't quit. Don't give up on yourself. You're so worth working hard for. So if this is challenging today, keep showing up for yourself, and remember, you will get stronger. That's the coolest thing. You get stronger over time. Stay with that lateral lunge. Give me one more on each side. Good. And relax. Find your dumbbell. So I would choose a medium dumbbell for this. We're going into alternating backwards lunges. So shoulders down and back. Abs nice and tight. This begins our strength interval section. So we're going to lunge back. Step together and alternate. Lunge. Step together. Now, Margaret and Michael are in their 70s and we do backwards lunges together. So age is just a number. You can do what you think you can do with the right form and mindset. Anything is possible. So keep those backwards lunges going. Use your glutes, keep your chest lifted. I want you to try and feel your whole body as we move through this routine. Every exercise works everything. Whew. Breathe, stay with me now. Keep those lunges going. Can you do four more? Sure, Coach Caroline. I absolutely can. Last one each side. Nice, hey. And relax, feet hip distance apart. We're going to hinge, row, down, squeeze. So hinge, back row, and up. So this is a good morning, a deadlift. You want to feel your butt, feel your abs, feel your heart, should be up from those lunges. Good, I want you to squeeze with your back. So when you row, think about rowing with your back, not rowing with your arms. Stick your chest out, proud chest. Good, keep that row going, you're doing great. Squeeze your butt at the top, squeeze right there. Row. And squeeze, you've got two more. Whoo! Last one, good job. And stand. Now we go to a squat. So I want you to squat down, bicep curl, overhead press. Again, squat. So you should have chosen a dumbbell that you feel like you could do all of these exercises with. If you need to swap them out, you can, because overhead definitely is a little bit harder than just leg muscles, right? So when we're pressing overhead, I'm using eight pound dumbbells for this. It's tough, but the lunge is a little easy. So I could have swapped it out for my 12s, but you know, if you have adjustable dumbbells at home, that's a good option. Are you squeezing your butt and your abs? I hope so. Stay with me. Curl, reach, good job. You got it. Let's do one more together. Down, up, curl, reach, weights down on the floor, knees or toes. We're doing push-ups, you've got 10 of them. So knees or toes, abs tight, 
You're going to bring your chest all the way, touch the floor, bring it all the way up. I want your chest to touch the ground every time. So you're touching that floor. Don't cheat on yourself. Full range of motion. So we go down touch, up, down touch, up. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt. You've got three more, and up. Last two, good job. Breathe, whoo, and stand. It's time for another cardio section. March it out. Whoo, so just when your arms get to be jelly, we shake them out, and we get the heart pumping again. So, like I said in the intro, this will boost your metabolism because we're alternating between cardio and strength, cardio and strength. Really keeping your body guessing, moving, and sweating. Good job. Hey, huge thank you to those of you who are Patreons and who have helped make this routine possible. I can't do this without you. You are my everything. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep marching. Modified jumping jacks. Ready? Begin. Here we go. Out. Reach those arms up. Good. And thank you to my virtual clients who asked me to film this, because I think this is going to be a butt kicker today. Don't you? Keep reaching those arms up. I hope your heart rate's up. If you want, and you're using a fitness tracker, comment and let me know what your heart rate gets up to, okay? I would love that. Good. Keep it going. You got it. And give me some energy. Whoo! Yeah. I like it. You got it. Four, three, two, and bend and stretch. Bend, stretch. Breathe. Yes. This is one of those routines that you're short on time and you want to do everything or your week is busy and you're not sure how much working out you can get in. Do this. Very effective. <laughs> Very effective. You don't have to fit it all in to separate sessions. We just do it all in one. Good. Hang in there. Stretch. Whew. Yes. I'm sweating. It's good. Sweat makes you sparkle. Am I right? Yes. All right, give me four more, you can do it. Last two, and pull that knee into chest. Feel free to go slower or faster. I had my coffee today. <laughs> I don't drink too much coffee, but what I do? Watch out, world. Oh my gosh, my guilty pleasure is an Americano. Oh, if you like Americanos too, let me know below. I love a good Americano. That makes me sweat even more right now, thinking about that. Keep pumping those arms, bring your knee into chest. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, baby, hey. Whew, nice job. And punch across. Here we go. Punch. Give me some positivity packed punches. You gotta sweat out the stress, the negativity, and cultivate positivity, energy, and enthusiasm for life. Sometimes a good workout will do just that. So keep those punches going. Get your heart rate up. This is our cardio section, so I want you to work your heart. If you feel your heart pumping, you're doing it right. You're doing it right, my friend. Stay with me. Four. And heel curls. Here we go. Butt kickers. Because we're kicking butt today. Kicking butt, tighten our ponytail and conquer the world. <laughs> or your man bun. Whatever you got going, I'm with you, hun. Yes, the man bun. So in. <laughs> Keep that reach and pull. Yeah. Breathe. Stay with me now. Good work, good work, good work. Squeeze your upper back. Work those posture muscles. The better your posture, the taller you stand, the better you feel. <sighs> nice. And lateral lunges. Here we go. Lunge to the side, step together. Lunge to the side, step together. So if you're tracking on a fitness watch, an Apple watch per se, you'd probably say this is circuit training. So circuit training combines intervals of cardiovascular and strength together. So in circuits. Sometimes you could do circuit training with strength. You could just do circuits of strength, circuits of cardio. But on the watch, I believe circuit training would be a good definition for this right now. So if you're tracking, you know. But remember, 
It's not about numbers, it's about how you feel and how you perform in your life. One more each side. Good job. And relax, find your weight. Straight circuit number two, we go back to those lunges. So pick up your weights carefully, shoulders down and back. Abs are nice and tight, alternating backwards lunges with perfect posture. Let's do it. Down, step it up. Now, if you're more straight up, it's more of a quad exercise. If you hinge forward at the hips, it's more of a glute exercise. So you can pick your poison, but I don't want you to feel your lower back, okay? So keep your abs tight. Keep pressing through that front leg. Breathing. This is such a good workout. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. It's also hot in San Diego. This is where I'm filming today. And <laughs> I guess hot is relative. Hot for San Diego is 70 degrees. Yikes, I know. I grew up in Davis, and hot in Davis is 110. <laughs> so, I guess I'm lucky for 70. I should not complain. I'm grateful for you, 70 degrees. One more each side. Last one. Good job. Okay, hinge and row. Here we go. So, we deadlift, row, down, squeeze. Oh, man. You're feeling it. I want you to think. Row with your back, not with your arms. Stick your chest out. Keep your abs tight. So you don't want to practice the rounded shoulder position, the position we get in all too often when we're at the computer. So remember, you want to practice how you want to perform. So when you're working out, you want to move with great movement patterns that are going to help you in everything. Good job. Big row, and stand. Good, last one, and relax. Squat to bicep curl, switch out those weights if you need to. Here we go. We're gonna squat, stand, bicep curl, overhead press. Yes. So your heart rate should be coming down, but you should be feeling, oh my gosh, muscle fatigue, the burn. Some people call it the burn. <laughs> I call it fire, 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 fire everywhere. Good. I can't tell you how much I enjoy working out with you. Thank you so much for being here and being a part of this community. It is something I look forward to every week when I film, and I really feel like we're, we're together right now, that I'm there with you in your living room or in your garage, and we are doing this as a team nice and strong. We're celebrating our health together, and it means everything that you're here. Good. Two more, please. So down and press. We've got our push-ups on deck next. You can do it. Great job. All right, relax. Weights down. Meet me on your mat. Knees or toes, your call. Choose your own adventure style. You're going to bring chest to the floor 10 times. Here we go. Down and up. If you want extra credit, do 15. Do 20. I'm doing 10. <laughs> I'm cool with 10. I am so cool with that. Breathe. I keep saying breathe so that I don't forget, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> All right. Three more. Chest to floor, please. Last two. Don't cheat yourself. Last one. Stand it up. And last round, cardio intervals. Let's march, here we go. Maybe you've tried my indoor walking workouts. Great cardio, so awesome. Um, so you're practiced at the indoor march. Good, you can pick it up to a jog if you really want to, but that's high impact, this is all low impact. Just saying, you do you boo, I'll support you. I don't care what color you are, I'm here for you. You got it, stay with me. We've got our bend and stretch in three, two, let's do it. Bend and stretch. I love the stretch because it just, oh, stretches everything out. I would love to hear in the comments below where you're tuning in from. It's so cool that this YouTube platform can connect us all over the world, all over. Yeah, hang on. Big stretch. Try to gain as much shoulder mobility as you can. Use your core. 
use your positive thinking. Mindset is everything. You got it. Whew. Nice job. And knee pull. Here we go. Pull it in. Give me a crunch. So when I pull that knee in, I'm thinking abs tight. Nice and strong. My Apple Watch is telling me that I'm doing an indoor run. Apparently my heart rate's up that high. I didn't start tracking anything. Yeah, so cool. And it catches up on activity, huh? Good. Can you give me more of a crunch? Get out any negativity in your system. Sweat it out. We call that a detox. A detox. Woo! You got it. Hang on there. Breathe. Nice job. Crossbody punch. Ready? Go. Punch. Yes, good. Already feeling better. This is our final round of cardio intervals. So I want you to give me everything you've got. So every last drop of enthusiasm and energy and celebration of your health. Go for it. Come on. Yes, you can. You'll be fine. <laughs> I promise. Hang on. Come on. Ha. Yeah. I like to make noise when I work out. Releases everything. Good job. And butt kickers. Here we go. Posture muscle squeeze. Movement is medicine. What is it your medicine for today? What are we working out today? Where are we working out today? How does it make you feel to get a good workout that helps your health? Yeah, nice work. Hang in there. Keep that squeeze going. Big posture squeeze. Thanks, Margaret and Michael, again for requesting this video and your support. Good. And relax. Lateral lunge. Here we go. Lateral lunge side and up. One of my favorite things is when you guys tag me on Instagram, working out with your animals, your pets, your cats, your dogs, your birds. It's so cool. They're, you guys have cute pets. I love seeing your pets. So feel free to tag me away on Instagram. Show me who you're sweating with today. I love that. Our strength intervals are coming up. So keep pressing that butt back. Get your inner thigh stretch. One more each side. And relax. Find your dumbbells. Last round of these exercises. So we grab our dumbbells, shoulders down and back. We're going into our lunges. Are you ready? Here we go. So we lunge. Now, I know there's a lot of workouts on YouTube that don't do repeats, but you kind of do want to do repeats with workouts so that you can practice your exercises and progress. One round through is good, but you want a little bit more for strength building results, okay? So if you're short on time, do what you can do. Take your time, make it count. Whatever you've got. But if you have the time to invest in a little longer workout, try to get at least two sets of an exercise. At least two sets. Keep those lunges going. Oh my gosh, my heart rate's up, I almost fell over. From those cardio intervals, whew, I'm sweating, and I haven't even drank out of my mug yet. My hydration mug. <laughs> Good, one more each side. We got our deadlift and rows next. Here we go, weights by your side, shoulders down back, straight spine. Ready? You're gonna hinge, row with your back, stand with your butt, row. I used to get really scared when my back would be sore after a back workout. But that's kind of the point. You want to work your back to get stronger so that when you pick things up off the floor, you don't hurt yourself. So it's okay to be sore, but you want that soreness to get you stronger tomorrow, okay? So do one of my foam rolling videos, one of my stretching videos after this. You're going to be in good shape. I've got all playlists. Yeah. Stay with me. Use your back. We've got three more. I love this workout because it's multi-muscle compound exercises that work everything. Last one. So it's a best thing for your butt workout. Squat with bicep curl to overhead press. Ready? Here we go. Squat down, curl, press. Compound moves. 
work your total body, right? You work more than one muscle group at a time, which means that it's a little more challenging and it also is more effective if you're short on time. So I like our strength workouts together because we're doing all compound moves. A push-up is a compound move when you think about it. it. Works your chest, your triceps, your abs. This is a compound move. We're working legs, biceps, shoulders, core, the whole kit and caboodle. I want it all. Are you squeezing your butt? I hope so. Squat down, curl the press. Good job. This is your last round. So you might as well give it all you've got. You've got three more. We've got our push-ups, and then we're gonna lay on our back for a little bit of core, and it's over. That's it. I know. Last one, grand finale. Here we go. Press. Nice. Meet me on your mat. Knees down or on your toes. Last round, 10 push-ups. That means you've done 30 if you've done them all with me today. So chest to floor. Ready, set, go. Down and up. I kind of like doing my knees because it just makes me feel like I have better form. I can do toes, but I also want to be able to talk to you. <laughs> and that might be a little more complicated in that variation. Good. Keep breathing. Press the floor away. Build strength today. Two more. Whew. Last one. Nice job. Flip on your back. We've got bridges. So we're going to stretch the front of the thighs, engage the backs of the legs, hands by your sides. When you're ready, press your hips up and down. So working our bridge today, getting a stretch for the front of the thighs, work for the glutes. I am so proud of you for making it this far in this video. So major shout out for not giving up, for getting to the end. I like your style. I can't start a workout and not finish it. Unless of course I'm sick or I, you know, my body says no, but if it's hard, it's a good thing to be challenged because being challenged is how you grow. So don't give up when it gets hard or a little uncomfortable. Know that you're on the right track to getting where you want to be. Keep pressing up. Nice job. And relax. Okay, we go bicycle crunches. So you're going to bring your hands behind your head, scoop up, and you've got bicycle crunch side to side. Now, if the upper body is too much, you can feel free to do just the legs. Keep that bicycle crunch going. Back is flat on the mat. Squeeze those stomach muscles. Get the scapula off the floor. Chin is away from chest. If you push your head into your hands, you're not going to feel your neck. Pro tip right there. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Breathe with me now and relax. Okay, we've got sit-ups. If you're not doing sit-ups today, I want just crunches. So you're gonna bring it up and down. If you are doing sit-ups, we do butterfly sit-ups. So feet together, knees apart. You're gonna bring it up, touch in front of your toes, bring it down. So we've gotta finish with a little bit of core work. We've done our cardio, we've done our strength. We're gonna finish with core, and then if you have more time, you're going to check out one of my stretching videos. Keep those butterfly sit-ups going. Now, I love the butterfly sit-up because you're getting the hip flexors out of the picture, which means you can work your abs a little bit more. And our hip flexors just get so dang tight because of that darn computer and the driving and the sitting. So we want to get them out of our lives as much as we can. Good, last two. We're gonna do this one more time, these three exercises. And relax, meet me on your back, let's go for a bridge. Tuck the pelvis, lift and lower the hips. Here we go, up and down. Squeeze your butt as hard as you can at the top. Stretch your thighs, keep your abs engaged, and never give up on yourself. You can always take breaks, but don't quit. Same analogy for life, like sometimes life just gets really hard and you need to take a pause. But then you rediscover what motivates you and your why and you come back to it with a vengeance. So keep that bridge going. Press through your heels. We've got bicycle crunches and butterfly sit-ups and then we are done, my friend. Good job. And last one. Good, hands behind your head, legs and tabletop, bicycle crunch, side to side. Good job. Squeeze the stomach. Really work your core, you could do it. Press through the heels. I love getting a good strength workout in. 
It makes me feel like I can conquer my day. Queen of the world style. Remember, if you need neck support, you can always do the bicycle down here. That's how Michael does his bicycle. So no shame in the modification game. No ego, amigo. <laughs> we'll get that ego out of that workout. Whatever you need to do to feel good, I am so here for it. <sighs> Breathe and stretch. Nice job. Last exercise coming up. And feet together, arms back. Now again, modification is a crunch right here. Or here we go, butterfly sit-ups. Touch up and down. I also like the butterfly sit-up because it's relatively neck friendly. Um, crunches are not always neck friendly. So I also have a no neck pain ab workout that you should check out <laughs> if you struggle with neck pain during your ab exercises. Okay, keep going for me. Try not to move all over your mat. You want to keep yourself stationary. Sometimes I migrate doing these. So, yeah. You got to use the abs a little bit more if that's happening. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Good work, good work. How are we feeling? Can you give me two more? And last one. Meet me in a seated position, hands behind your knees. Lean back. Bring your arms into a V for victory, and I just want you to hold. Feel the shame. Take a moment. Acknowledge what you've just accomplished and your strength both inside and out. Take a moment to be grateful for your health and the gift of movement and the joy of doing this together today. Big breath in and out. Sit up nice and tall. Come to your feet carefully. Take a moment, roll your shoulders up, down, and back. One more time, up, down, and back. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out, and notice how you feel. You have just completed an awesome low impact cardio and strength workout. I am so proud of you for completing this routine, and I wanna hear all about it. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. And please, if you haven't done so already, join us on Patreon. I would love to have your support in sharing this kind of content with the world. Patreon links are in the description box, so come on over and join us. Thank you for this awesome workout, my friend, and I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.